Und damit herzlich willkommen zurück zu einer weiteren Runde von Fire Emblem Free Houses. Wir haben beim letzten Mal Kapitel 8 abgeschlossen und für uns geht es jetzt damit weiter in, genau, Kapitel Nummer 9. Part 1 White Clouds Ethereal Moon The Cause of Sorrow Though most stars will still glimmer in the crisp winter air, the Blue Sea Star has gone back into hiding. Legend states that the goddess prays for peace from her home in the heavens. In the town of Garigmach, the anniversary of the monastery's completion nears, and the people's prayers intensify ahead of the Millennium Festival, still five years hence. Boink. Mm, boink. 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 Hm, Geld. Ich mag Geld. Vor allem, wenn es in meine eigenen Taschen fließt. Hier ist ein paar Blumen. Das können wir uns wohl leisten. Oh Gott, wir haben schon wieder Nebenquests. Ach, wir werden die Dinger nie los. We are planning Hi. a grand ball for this month. I'm sure the students will be most pleased. Yes, certainly. However, we must not devote all of our time to frivolity. We have a new mission for you. We have found evidence of someone sneaking into an unused chapel. Wurde was gestohlen? No. There is nothing of value in that building. We do not yet know what the intruder's objectives are. This month, your class is tasked with guarding the chapel and investigating these intruders. With the recent state of affairs surrounding the Holy Church, we cannot afford to overlook any abnormality, no matter how seemingly trivial. I am ordering a seasoned knight to assist you to ensure the safety of the students. In times like these, I am afraid we must always expect the worst. Beruhigend. Reporting for duty, Lady Hi, Pops. I thought you two could use the time to bond. And to speak of important matters. <laughs> Appreciate the thought. Bear in mind that Gerald has a separate mission of his own. He will join you once he has finished it. It's true. I'll be away from the monastery for a while. But when I return, I'll come and watch you work. I'll be looking forward to. Ach, Pops. So, äh, Examen, was haben wir denn hier? Naja, du wirst wahrscheinlich da noch eine Weile bleiben. Na, wenigstens ist die Klasse schon mal auswählbar. Uff, 31. Das schafft er doch nie. Na, er ist mit Schützer noch nicht ganz durch. Das passt schon. halt auch noch Ewigkeiten dauern, ne? Weil Falkenritter ist erst 30er. Braucht sie dafür noch irgendwas Bestimmtes? Ja. Sollte, da sollten wir lieber mal mit anfangen. Ich meine, gut, B plus sollte jetzt nicht so das Problem sein, fliegen und äh, Lanz aber Schwert hat es ja, glaube ich, noch gar nichts. Das würde ein bisschen schwieriger werden. Oh, sie hat ja auch äh, Scharfschütze ausführbar. Wir versuchen es mal. Das ist wenigstens über 50%. Also da ist die Wahrscheinlichkeit jetzt nicht ganz so daneben. Geht doch.
Du hast sie auch schon durchschützen, klasse. Oh, jetzt fehlt das Oberstufensiegel. Moment, dann gehen wir das mal eben kurz kaufen. Können wir die hier auch gleich kaufen? So, und wenn wir schon mal dabei sind, können wir gleich die ganzen Goldbarren verkaufen, die wir hier noch auf Tasche haben. Oh, ich sollte sie vielleicht auch verkaufen und nicht abbrechen. Und schon sind wir geldtechnisch wieder da, wo wir vorher waren. Reparieren. Juris Bogen muss repariert werden. Unser Schöpfer hat ganz, schön mit, hat ganz schön gelitten in der letzten Mission. Und Klaus Bogen kann auch mal wieder repariert werden. So, dann können wir hier mal kurz alles wieder herstellen. So, wo waren wir stehen geblieben? Ach ja, Examen. Ignat sollte das auf gut Glück versuchen. Na dann. Here we go. Auf gut Glück. Hätte mich auch gewundert. Ja, du hast versagt. Stell dir vor. Und gehen wir erkunden. Also, das... Ach, wir haben ja noch ganz viele Unterstützung. Ja, die sollten wir vielleicht mal abarbeiten. As you can see, if we were to face an enemy on this terrain, I would go here and you would go here. Hang on. If we're trying to repel the enemy, I should be positioned there, correct? Huh? I'm not sure that's the best idea. Take a closer look at this map. See, there's a graveyard over here. Might run into some of those ghosts you hate so much. Claude, will you knock it off already? So help me. If you continue treating me like a child, I'll... Easy there. I I'm sorry, okay? Just don't start blasting off any spells in here. <laughs> I'd more pride than to turn an unarmed soldier to cinders. It wouldn't kill you to speak to me as an equal when we're discussing matters as serious as this. Actually, I see you as more than an equal. There's no questioning the power you wield. And I was being serious about the formation just now. The bit about the ghost is just me having fun with you. Or trying to? You're so smart, I figured you'd catch on to that right away. But back to the formation. Can you see why I arranged it like I did? Hmm. The area I want you to guard requires the ability to adapt to an ever-changing situation. Who else could I trust with such a difficult task? You're my best bet for something like that. Perhaps that's true. Think back to the times we fought together. When have I ever treated you like a child on the battlefield? I depend on you, Lysithia. I value your power almost as much as I do teaches. Truly? I swear to you on all of Fodlink. I'd like to have my fun, but I wouldn't joke about something like that. I consider you a valued ally. I'll stop now before I inevitably drift back into teasing you again. Just know that I meant every word, okay? Fair enough then. From here forward, see to it that you treat me with the respect of an equal. And I admit that you are not short on talent yourself, but don't go getting a big head over it. Und das nächste Klaus hat nämlich noch ein paar mehr. A little closer. Hey Leoni, what are you up to? Oh, come on, what'd you do that for? Look, you ran my quarry off. 
you were hunting? Is the dining hall that short on food supplies? No, but I like to hunt every now and again. Keep my skills sharp. I suppose so. You're from a family of hunters, right? Well, there's no shortage of prey to hunt around here. True. Not many hunters around the monastery, huh? Rivers full of fish, trees bursting with fruit, mushrooms ready to harvest all over. It's the kind of place where you can really be self-sufficient. Guess we can thank the goddess for that. Yeah, I don't know. I'm more inclined to thank the bountiful earth than the goddess for such things. The goddess may offer spiritual guidance, but she doesn't fill our bellies, that's for sure. Not a very noble-sounding thing, to disregard the goddess and honor the land. Leone, whose grace do you suppose humans live by? The goddess, the nobility? I'd say it's neither. It's the endless bounty of this magnificent land that gives us life. Won't hear me deny it. But who's to say it isn't the goddess whose protection makes nature thrive? I'm not the most devout person, but I'm not about to go around saying we don't need the goddess at all. I said she gives spiritual support, didn't I? I wouldn't go so far as to say she's wholly unnecessary. But in Almyra, Dagda, Bridget, and plenty of other places, they don't believe in the goddess. Nature is a blessing that knows nothing of borders. The goddess is the goddess, and the earth is the earth. They should both be revered for what they are. Hmm. Look, this is just my personal opinion. If you truly believe that everything depends on the goddess of Saros, that's your... Hey, it's fine. You don't have to worry about me. I'm a believer, but I know there are those who aren't. And I kind of like your way of thinking. Giving thanks to nature and all. It makes sense. I knew a wild girl like you would be able to get behind an idea like that. What? Like I'm feral or something? Hey, you know, this kind of talk could be viewed as heresy if it was public. Yeah, probably. We'll just have to keep it to ourselves. But Ingo had ja recht, ne? Oh, Flane. As expected, I am not finding anything at all. Flane, are you looking for something in particular? I was just hoping for general reading that might illustrate the lives of city dwellers. Right. Well, there should be regional records somewhere around here. I haven't need of official records or anything of the like. Just some light reading on the subject. Light reading? What do you mean by that? Oh, you know, books that cover things like what types of activities young people enjoy, how they spend their free time, popular fashions and trends, things of that sort, and even... Perhaps, stories about romance? Ah, I see what you're getting at. Try asking a traveling merchant. I hear they keep stock of books like that. As for here, I don't think you're going to find much aside from a bunch of stuffy records. We do get new books donated on a fairly regular basis, but then set of, well, you know. My brother? I am afraid I do not follow. Apparently, he directly approves every book before it's allowed to grace these shelves. You know, to make sure nothing inappropriate gets through. I see. I did not realize he had a hand in such things. Well, I suppose it really is no use searching here. Why were you looking for those sorts of books anyway? Well, truth be told, I am not particularly well versed in the ways of ordinary people. Sedith never taught me of such things. And he strictly forbade me from spending much time out and about on my own. Yeah, I had a feeling that might be the case. Sounds like Sedith. I understand and appreciate that he acted from a place of concern, of course. Without a doubt. It's obvious that you're his whole world, for better or worse. By the way, I've been wondering, are you two from a noble family? Hmm? You've clearly had a rather high-class upbringing, and both of you have crests. That can only mean you come from a prominent bloodline, right? Of course not. No, no, you, you are mistaken. So your refined way of speaking isn't because of your upbringing? I was not aware that my speech differed so greatly from my companions. Do I really sound so formal to you? Well, look, don't worry too much about it. I'm probably just overthinking things, probably. <laughs> Ach so, mit, Kla äh, mit Klaus sind wir fertig. Nächster. Hm. It didn't work. Odd. My 
logic was sound, or so I thought. Ah, Lysithia, I've just happened upon some lovely tea leaves. Would you care to join me for a cup? Nope, busy. While I admire your dedication to research, you simply must take breaks now and again for the sake of your health. I am perfectly capable of knowing when to stop. I'm no child, I'll have you know. Come now, take just a brief respite. Look, I've even brought snacks to go with the tea. Ooh, that actually looks pretty tasty. All right, all right, fine. Well, what do you think? These are made especially for my house. I've loved them since I was a boy. Oh, jeez, wow. Actually, this is delicious. You have excellent taste, Lawrence. Have as much as you'd like. For the sake of our friendship, I consider it well worth the investment. I'd like to know more about you, Lysithia. Where did you learn such a command of magic? When you were a child, what kind of... <sighs> Come on, can't we just enjoy the snacks? I loathe talking about myself. Openness is a prerequisite to successful diplomacy. You'll learn that when you take your first real steps into high society. Can you stop with the kid treatment? I mean, really, is age the only thing you consider when engaging with others? But there's nothing the matter with being young. There is a role to be played at every stage in life. That is how we learn and grow. Are you even listening? Ugh, it's like you can't even help yourself but to continue treating me like a child. I absolutely recognize your raw ability. You possess quite a rare gift for magic. I hope we can find a way for you to use that gift to help as many people as we can. Surely you can agree to that, at least. You really are relentless. I'll spell this out for you once more. I don't care. You're headstrong, just like me. That very quality will ensure a better future for Fodlan. I, sir, am nothing like you. You're bullheaded and boorish, and utterly fixated on the future. All you care about is what's to come. Sure, it's all well and good to be thinking about such lofty things. However, for me, the future's a very long ways off. Better to focus on the present, on the here and now. Thanks for the tea. Lysithia? Was soll man dazu noch sagen? Wenn man nicht wie ein Kind behandelt werden will, sollte man das nicht allen und jeden aufbinden. Dann wirkt man nämlich noch mehr wie ein Kind. Is it, Marianne? I'm curious why you've been eating your meals nearly as of late. I'm not much for conversation. I'm always at a loss for words, and I never know how to respond to questions. Well, it's true that there are some who prefer a lively dinner table, but I prefer to eat in peace. With you, my meals are a relaxing experience. In fact, you are the most peaceful dining companion I've ever had. But really? There is a real grace and fluidity to your every movement. I greatly appreciate refined table manners. Observing you all this time, I believe I've realized what is so striking about you. Your beauty comes from the heart. It is an inner beauty. It is not some flamboyant pageantry, a product of external adornment or grooming. When I first noticed it, I thought that it could use some refinement, a little polish, but I was mistaken. You are perfect in your natural state, just as you are. You think I'm beautiful? Just the way I am? Certainly. To add a superficial luster on top of what you already possess would be offensively redundant. No one's ever said anything like that to me before. Alas, I am the only one with eyes. But perhaps it is for the best that your beauty not be revealed to all the world. Yes. It is certainly better that only I, Lawrence Hellman Gloucester, can appreciate your true magnificence. And on that note, I bid you farewell. What a strange person. But being called beautiful just the way I am, that was nice to hear.
Oh, da. Das war ein schöner Support. Hey, Marianne, what's she in? Mind if I join you? I'm starving. Uh huh? Oh, um. All my favorite dishes are on the menu today. I might have grabbed too much. You want some? No, thanks. I. All you've got on your plate are leaves. Are you sure that'll fill you up? I I'm done eating now. I have to go. Huh? You're already done eating? But there's still food on your plate. Hey, Mary Ann! Huh. Maybe she's not feeling well. I should probably go check on her later. Oh, is that so? I'm so happy you found all of that food. A little gray starling told me that you can find berries if you fly out toward the mountains. Oh, I found Marianne. I didn't know she spent her time here. It sounds like she's talking to someone. What's that? Do you want to try some nectar from the flowers in the greenhouse? That might be tricky. I guess you could try it if I'm already there. Otherwise, you might get locked in. Hey, Marianne, who are you talking to? Huh? Oh, the birdie flew off. I yes, it looks like he has. What are you doing here, Raphael? You were acting a little strange when we were eating earlier, so I wanted to check on you. I was worried. Uh, that's sweet of you, but I'm fine. Are you sure? Well, that's good to hear. As long as... Wait a minute! Were you just talking to a bird? Excuse me? <laughs> I knew it! You can talk to birds! I'm right, aren't I? Uh, um, yes. That's incredible! This place is full of interesting folks, but I didn't think anyone spoke birdie. No, that's not it. This bird just happened to be speaking human. Amazing! I hope I get to meet a bird who speaks human one day. On. Ow! Klang schmerzhaft. Flame, I'm so sorry. Are you hurt? No, no need for concern. I'm quite all right. Are you sure you're all right? Were you injured? No, nothing of the sort. I just got a bit dizzy, standing up so quickly. We should go to the infirmary. Come on, I can take you there. Come now. I appreciate the concern, but I am quite all right. Look, I am perfectly fine now. See? Ignatz. Are you... there? Uh, yes. I'm sorry. Did you say something? Mm hmm I understand now. Understand what? Though I know little regarding affairs of the heart, even I can clearly see one's intent when they stare so much. I am sorry, but at the moment I am not looking for... well... Oh, no, 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 no. You misunderstood. I just... You just... Just what? What is it? I'm just... Fascinated. By you. Fascinated? By me? Yes. Your gaze, full of divine dignity. Your silhouette, as elegant as a statue. If Saint Cetheline herself were reborn, you would look no less wondrous than she. I see. I'm sorry, so sorry. I don't know what came over me, saying something like that. No, not at all. Tell me, what are your thoughts on Saint Cetheline exactly? Uh, well, from the few accounts I've heard, she was a beauty, and her kindness was inexhaustible. Very good. As a reward, I shall not report your behavior to my brother. This time. <laughs> yes, I'd be most grateful if you didn't. I can hardly imagine what Sadith would do if he found out. Well then, farewell. Perhaps we will have another chance to chat later. <laughs> 
She seemed awfully pleased, didn't she? Hmm. Also, wie viele haben wir noch? Drei. Drei. Ja gut, das sollte noch drin sein. Marianne, do you mind if I ask you about something? Yes. It's about animal behavior. Among us all, you surely know the most about animals. I've read that in outdoor battles, wild animals can sometimes cause unexpected confusion. What do you think would be the best strategy to... Um, are you listening, Marianne? I was listening. I just don't think I can really... For crying out loud! Why do you always have to admit defeat before even giving yourself a chance? My advice would probably just put everyone in danger. You'd be better off without me. This is beyond ridiculous. You are impossible. You seem convinced you're some sort of cursed being, destined to bring doom and gloom to anyone you encounter. Well... Why do you have such a terrible opinion of yourself? How could you possibly be so dense? I just... Just nothing. Now you listen to me for a moment. I can see that you have some deep-seated turmoil you struggle with. I'll have you know I have quite a few issues of my own. Perhaps more grave than yours, if you can imagine. R really Yes, but I'm not the only one who has such troubles to contend with. Everyone does. That's why it's so important to maintain a positive outlook and do what we can. Each time we find the light in the dark, we grow, bit by bit. And without growth, what's the point in carrying on? Lysithia, I envy your confidence and strength. Don't envy me. Instead, just choose to find the positive, won't you? Yes. Well, maybe someday. The time is now! This is your moment! Oh, okay. That's more like it. Now to start, why don't you help me out by answering my questions about wild animals? I'll certainly try my best. Und die nächste. Hey, I'm about to take out the trash. Got anything you want me to take? Uh, how about these? Just some old study notes of mine. Wow, that's quite the pile there. You sure it's all fine to throw away? Of course. It's all safely stored in my brain now. If I concentrate, I can access any of it with ease. Why am I not surprised? I wish I had even half your power of concentration. Okay, here we go. Ugh, this is pretty heavy. Well, it'll be a good workout. Oh, but you were telling me not to take my training so lightly. Still, can't hurt to get a little exercise in. I'll just take it at a run. See you later. Hmm. Hmm? What is it, Lysithia? Was there something in that pile of paper you wanted to hang on to after all? No, that's not it. There's just something I want to say to you. I'm sorry for saying your way of doing things was inefficient. You've clearly grown plenty strong, doing things as you have. Not to mention, multitasking and training in that way surely presents interesting challenges. <laughs> well, sure. But if everyone has their own methods, then your methods aren't wrong either. All you did was share them with me, so there's no need for apologies. Still, it's probably beyond me to imitate your levels of focus and concentration. How do you even manage to throw yourself into only one thing like that? I haven't much choice. I can't waste even a single moment. I can understand that. I'm sort of the same way. I hate feeling like I'm not getting enough work done. Anyway, you should just do what works for you. You've got something you want to achieve, right? That's why you feel pressured to study so hard. Yes. 
Then focus on what matters to you. Leave the rest to people who have the time for it. And hey, if you need any heavy lifting done, you know where to go. The way I see it, it's all training. You know, Leone, you're so kind, so strong. Whoa, what's with the compliments all of a sudden? I was just thinking what an incredible partner you'd make. Really, you've got all of the perfect qualities. What? I'm not simply saying that. I say what I mean, and I mean what I say. <laughs> You're making me blush. What a strange way to compliment someone. So. Einen haben wir noch. Einer geht noch. Um, hier. I patched up the clothes you gave me. Hey, thanks. You've helped me a lot lately. I feel like I should be doing this stuff myself. But ever since you patched up my sleeve, I've been really interested in your craft. Craft? Uh, you mean my embroidery? Yeah. When I saw what you were doing, I thought, what the heck is that? But it turned out to be a nice touch, once I was actually wearing it. Practical, too. When you're embroidering, you patch up the torn parts with new cloth, right? And that strengthens it, so the same part won't break as easily next time. <sighs> I'm glad you like it. At first, I felt like you thought it was stupid. I was worried you secretly hated me or something. It made me pretty scared to show you my stitching. <laughs> so sorry. I should have told you I liked it. Thanks, Bernadetta. I'm glad I asked for your help. Oh, um, it's nothing. What'd you make this time? A hornet, huh? You do like the scary critters, don't you? It zips out from the trees and strikes. Just like you. I sting like a hornet, do I? Actually, I like that. You know, you want to be more confident. What? You're good enough at sewing that you can make a living out of it. You should take pride in that. Oh, no, 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 no. I could never do that. Trust me, I'm completely useless. Oh, that's not true at all. You've been a great help. Maybe I'm a better fighter, but I've got nowhere near the same skill at sewing. We can help each other. Isn't that what friends do? Friends? We're friends? Hey, come on. I know you're not the most confident, but this is getting silly. Of course we're friends. I completely trust you. <laughs> Leone? Yeah? Get your clothes torn up as much as you want. I'll always be here to patch them right up. <laughs> right, for sure. But I wasn't just talking about embroidery, you know. Gut, das hätten wir auch. Dann sind wir mit den Supports wenigstens soweit schon mal wieder durch. Dann gehen wir beim nächsten Mal die Quests durch, die wir noch haben. Und ja, dann würde ich sagen, sehen wir uns dann beim nächsten Mal wieder. Ich hoffe, ihr seid dann auch wieder mit dabei. Bis dahin und ich verabschiede mich wie immer. Bleibt ciao.